Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at getting solar panels for the house roof, which will be enough to power the hot tub during the summer and charge the backup battery that we've got to help power the house during the evenings and night. We'll later on go and show you the setup in the loft where all the equipment is. We weren't able to film the installation as the installers didn't want to be recorded, but we do have some uh, snapshots that will integrate into this. And we'll talk you through the steps over some steel clips. It didn't take long for them to install the panels on the roof. It was a morning really, maybe a bit less. And we've got, as you can see, 12 panels up there. We're south facing roof, which isn't the best angle, but it will hopefully do us quite nicely. We have noticed that some birds do occasionally manage to get underneath the panels and we can hear the pigeons hooting during the evenings, but hopefully they'll stop doing that. If not, we may have to get some spikes or something to put around to stop them. And as you can just see, one decided to disperse straight under there now. Here we have the new external smart meter, which runs alongside the existing meter. But we've got some extra breakers, one of which is going straight into the house and the other's coming down from the solar panels. We've also got on the far left an EV breaker. So if we ever in the future get an electric vehicle and want to have a charging point for it, it can be wired in there and then hopefully we'll be able to get free electricity to power the EV. Here we have the mounting board being put on to hold all the equipment in the loft. First of all, we have a new mains on off switch, which we can use to completely disconnect the inverters and battery system from the house main wiring so that we can completely kill power to the ring main so if we just trip one breaker we could still actually have live electrics as we've got our own site power generation on the far left we've got the inverter from the solar panels which changes dc to ac power now on the far right we have the inverter for the battery pack which converts AC again to DC. I also assume it will do AC to DC so that it can charge the battery from the grid as well. Now we've got a new smart meter here to monitor the ingoings and outgoings from the battery. Yet another smart meter so that we can monitor the energy usage from the solar panels. This is the 4.5 kilowatt battery system which holds, as it says, 4.5 kilowatts of energy, which lasts pretty much all night if it's fully charged. We have sometimes managed to find that it will last up until the morning as well. But the idea is that during breakfast time, the national grid can actually pull from the battery because obviously that's when lots of intermittent peak demand powers coming on for kettles and toasters, electric ovens and things like that. So sometimes it doesn't last all night because if we get up late in the morning it might be drained but it will help a heck of a lot for both the house power during the evenings and night and it will also ease demand on the grid so you've got a bit of social ethical feel good factor there as well also when the grid does pull from the battery that's when you're getting your feed-in tariff so you're actually making money that way which will help brilliantly on the bills now you can see the whole system's fully installed and ready to go. Well, thanks for watching. Do hope you enjoyed the video. We'll put a link down in the description below on who to contact and where to get them from. If you're in the southeast of England, uh, the link will definitely work. And rest of England might be hit or miss, depending on where they're based. But it will give you um, a discount on your install and it will give us a kickback as well so it's a win-win for everybody good luck with your summer smart garden i do hope you enjoy the video if so give it a good thumbs up and a like click subscribe and the bell notification and hope to see you all again soon bye for now